of the exciting challenges from an engineering aspect is that Duraloy services many industries. Petrochemical and steel are our two main industries. However, we also deal with aerospace and heat treating companies as well as other industries that operate high temperature type furnaces. Some of the things that are very interesting about Duraloy is that several of our trademark alloys are actually basically industry standards in that they have a long history of excellent service in use and are often the go-to materials. These include alloys such as the More series 22H and an upgraded alloy called Super 22H, meaning 2200 degrees hot. We also have another alloy called Super Therm, which is well known in the industry, that is also a very high temperature alloy developed by a gentleman named Howard Avery, who was a very good developer of micro alloys and high temperature alloys. We produce cast steels that are operating at the highest temperatures that any steel can operate at in the most severe conditions, such as loading, oxidation, corrosion, sulfidation. So we have to develop materials that can withstand very consistent high temperature operations as well as cyclic operations. I did work for over 17 years in the steel industry. Uh, worked in both operations and maintenance in the steel industry and understood very clearly the importance of getting a good quality product delivered to me on time when I needed it. It was nothing worse to be in a shutdown situation and have a vendor let you down with a delivery or let you down with quality when that delivery arrived. When a customer asks for a delivery date, he needs it on that delivery date because he is set up at his facility for some type of a maintenance operation, some type of a downtime operation, and the importance of delivery is very critical to him. Then when it gets there, the importance that it's quality. He can't, again, afford to have something come that isn't 100% what he expects. It can incur loss of time, it can incur a huge uh, loss of dollars to that company. So uh, with my perspective, with my background, I've tried to stress that importance to the people in this plant. Solidification modeling is a very effective tool that we have begun to use here. In the foundry, it helps us to improve our yield. It helps the quality of our casting. When we improve the yield for castings, it decreases our overall cost in the foundry so that we're able to push those savings onto our customers. So they're getting better quality for less price. Well, I've been welding for 30 years, uh, supervisor for 15, and I've saw a lot of processes that have improved, especially here over the last five to 10 years, have come a long way. You can program your weld, and it's a repetitious weld. Every time you set up a joint, you it, it's a continuous weld that's the same every time. Every time we make a weld, it has to pass x-ray at 100%. Customer uh, can interface with a, an engineer all the way through the process. Um, so we have engineers that will work with a, a client on a research project to solve a need. So we have uh, an engineer that's in sales that will interface with the customer and after receiving the order. Uh, we have an engineer that uh, makes sure we're following the spec. Uh, and then once it's in the shop, we have uh, shops engineers. Those supervisors interact uh, throughout the year uh, with our clients. And then before the, everything's ready to ship, we have our product excellence engineer look through the paperwork and documentation uh, and get the shipping release. Uh, so from start to finish, there's an engineer to, to interface with. Our engineering team here is very good. There's a lot of different engineers involved. Some of them are good at solidification modeling, others are good at the CAD modeling. For them to all work together as a team and then put all that engineering analysis together so that we're able to analyze the problem and create a solution for our customer that satisfies their needs or exceeds their needs. It's, it's really a great feeling to come into work every day and know that you're supplying jobs for the local economy and you're supplying jobs for the local area. Um, you're making everything in America. It's you know American made but it's also it's serving the world. I mean we ship all over the world every day. Um, so it's a great feeling.